Welcome to my first video on the Player Development Lab, a new feature added to Out of the Park 25, something that I think many of us who play the game have been hoping for for a long, long time. So it's here. Uh, I do want to point out that I just like sim the 2024 season to get to the lab with the O's and didn't really do too much with them, and they won 73 games. Have not seen them perform that poorly. Uh, it was a bad season from a lot of people except Gunnar Henderson. But anyways... Uh, you know, this video shouldn't be considered a tutorial, but more like an information session. You know, I'm still gathering info on the lab, just like I'm sure all of you are. Uh, be before recording this video, I've done the lab exactly one time, uh, but I've read a lot of posts online, including uh, the developer behind this genius, Will from Out of the Park. He had a really great post that I mentioned in another video. And so from, from, from playing it through and then reading people who posted about their experience on the forums, uh, the, the out of the park Reddit, and then some on my Patreon page, which you can support by going to the link in the channel through some discussions there. I feel like I have a good grasp on how I want to approach the lab to start. And so my purpose here is to like try out that initial approach, record it, and, and, and we'll see what happens. I do want to point out a few important things that Will noted on the forums in his post. This You should go read his whole post on the out-of-the-park out of forums. But a few things that really stuck out to me is, you know, you have five days to evaluate players once you put them in the lab. I think Will referred to this as like an intake assessment. And during those five days, you can take them out of the lab spot, which the default lab, number of lab spots you have is six. So if you have a guy who has a poor intake assessment, you don't like the results of his intake, you can take him out. Say, no, boot, dude, I'm not a... I'm not a wasting my lab spot on you. Um, the lab is impacted by things like player personality, age, coaches, etc. you know, in terms of how successful a player might be. The programs you'll see range from very easy to very hard. Like let's dra drag Jackson Holiday over here. Um, you can see, I don't see any very hard ones here, but you got a couple very easy, 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 and then some mediums. And, and then that's the like length of time it takes too. So it's interesting that like a couple of these things three to four months mediums, uh, but also three to four months hard. So, and you have the, uh, the off season to do this. So he'll take up a spot for a good chunk of the off season here in your lab. Uh, the range of outcomes, like if you pick one of these things, it's going to be poor where, uh, so, well, let me, let me start over. There are two, uh, outcomes that I think are the most likely where there's no improvement. The player just, nothing happens in the lab and he's just, as he went in, and then there's also a successful one where you'll see the player improve in the area that you targeted. Uh, what my understanding is the two the, my kind of like less likely scenarios are uh, poor, a poor outcome where a player will actually lose some uh, lose some ability for what you put them in the lab for, and then outstanding where you'll just see like a huge jump from the player. So I think no improvement successful are kind of like the middle of the middle of the most likely outcomes and then poor and outstanding are like on the far ends, not all that likely. Um, one important thing we'll noted on the forums is that it's really unlikely to improve a player's current ability where their potential is already maxed out. So like, let's look at, look at holiday here. Um, he doesn't have anything that's maxed out. So he's not a good guy to check here. Let's check uh, an older Austin Hayes. So like if you put Austin Hayes in for contact, He's extremely unlikely to improve his contact in the will in the in the lab, according to Will, who made the lab. So I think that's a pretty good source. Um, the only scenario in which he would improve his contact is an outstanding, uh, an outstanding outcome. Remember, we talked about the poor, no improvement, successful, outstanding. If you had outstanding, my understanding is it's a lot of standing, is that you can improve this contact, but it's just a really low likelihood event. So. I'm not going to like focus on those kind of things. Now there are things such as speed, you know, all these things, defense, those things don't have caps on them like a, a current and potential do. And I think that also will probably apply to pitchers. Uh, you know, I assume it applies to velocity and stamina. Uh, maybe, yeah, probably none of these. I thought that uh, my man, I, Corbin Burns, I think I'm going to target. Maybe we'll like try him for velocity. I think he lost some stuff. Oh, current and potential dropped. And his current movement rating dropped. Well, it was already a 55. Current stamina dropped. So, yeah, he's on the downside. I re-signed him to an extension just so I can put him in the lab 
Like I want to, I wanted him to work on his velocity and just see what happens. But let's put Holiday back in. And Jackson Holiday, like let's just try to improve his contact. Contact or I? Let's see. Ooh, I don't like that. How it takes him out of the lab when you do the back button. Are they the same amount of time? So there's two strike approach. You can look at the details of it. By the end of the program, they have cut down on the strikeouts, potentially even reduce it more. So what are we? So is this like avoid Ks or yeah? All right. So quality of contact is definitely contact. Generate bat speed. Is that going to improve power? We use various technologies and blah blah blah. Increase their home run power. Got it. Yep. Okay. But I think for for Jackson here, I think let's just try his contact and see what happens. Yeah. I wish that he was still in the lab there when I went back. So quality of contact, three to four months. Next, let's do Corbin Burns. Is velocity a big one? Yeah, I figured velocity is going to be a big one. So pitch movement, improve control, improve pitch arsenal. Um, by improving one of their bad off-speed pitches. So does that include like pitches that are already at their max excuse me for one second <coughs> um i'm not sure about that that's it i would assume that they're already at their max so you, you don't necessarily want to do that let's do i mean he did lose some stamina but let's try to increase velocity that sounds fun for uh old burnsy here another guy that i'm really interested in putting in the lab not sure if he's on the 40 man here is Kobe Mayo because he has a lot of tools that he hasn't maxed out and he has a high work ethic so maybe I guess he's in Norfolk here I didn't really follow his season too closely Kobe Kobe where is he where is he all right let's just look at prospects potential and go to the top oh there he is where are you man oh you were in AAA I guess I just missed him uh, let's see. Oh, I should have done that first. Uh, like, yeah, let's have him look, work on his eye. A 55 out of 70. I mean, it would be great to have him maybe improve his defense, but we're good there. We're just going to turn him into a masher. So the eye is like, is that plate discipline too? Or is it just a two strike approach? By the end of the program, they've realized more of their eye potential. Okay. So let's go with that. It's a it's another three to four once one months one, but it's medium. So let's do that. Another guy we're definitely throwing the, in the lab, Samuel Basayo. Let's go try to max out this fifty five out of eighty power. What a stud! Bat speed was the pow home run power one, right? Yeah. Now from there, I want to, and I'm hoping those will those are saved. I want to go to the organization and look at the roster of everybody here all players and organization and just find a couple dudes who are high work ethic high, high intelligence like this catcher silas Ardo ardoin i mean he's got high work ethic high intelligence and he already looks like a pretty good player but let's go send him to learn Huh. I kind of want to try something easier, like speed, just a shorter one, just for fun. Even though I don't think that's something I would ever pick, especially for this guy who has huge poten huge potential in my mind. Um so let's do let's just do something easy for him. Base running fundamentals. Improve their base running ability. So what is he right now? I won't remember this when we get there. He's a 40 right now. All right. Let's just, yeah, let's just do like a shorter, easy one. And then find one other high work ethic, high intelligence. Oh, Matt Horvath. Definitely going in with Matt Horvath. Let's have him go in and work on something for sure. Big Matt Horvath guy. I wish there was a way to search your organization here. 
that would be cool to have like a little little uh, search bar here where you can just search guys. Because you, you identify them, then you come here and you want to find them. That would make it easier. Uh, let's do something easy. Let's just do learn new position. I mean, he's probably going to like learn first base probably. <laughs> but let's try it. All right. So now we'll sim a couple days to do the intake assessment. So I, th I think this means we have four days left of their assessment. Oh, we're getting an auto save here. It's convenient. Because it let me take a sip of water. Uh, so we're still under assessment, okay. Two days left under assessment. Okay, now hopefully like the zero doesn't mean I'm locked out. Because I, I should be able to see the results of their assessment. And then decide if I want to get rid of them. Wait, I can't get rid of them now? Like, wait, what's the point of that? Okay, that's one thing. I mean, if the, if the point of the intake assessment is to, to decide if you want to go forward, you don't get the results until... Um, you don't get the progress here until you can't get rid of them. So, uh, I mean... So I think that would be a good thing to change. Just now you could be like, oh, sorry. I mean, maybe that would get let you like game it too much. But I feel like there should be some. If the oppor, I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't understand the point of the intake assessment if you don't. If you're locked in no matter what. Like as soon as you have results. Like what are those five days for? Like I, I'm not really sure. Um. So yeah, I'm just kind of. And some of these things that I'm saying, like, I don't mean it as criticism at all. Like, this is the most exciting feature that I think Out of the Park has added since I've started playing the game back in, like, I don't know, Out of the Park 10-ish, I think. I can't remember exactly. But so I don't mean these as criticisms. This is amazing. But I would, you know, I would think, like, either get rid of the intake assessment or give me some control after I know the results. I'd like a search bar here. And when I drag a player over, maybe if I hit this back button, it works. Nope. Yeah, when I drag a player over, I'd like to be able to see that. So I'll sim ahead here, and uh, we'll go to, like, the four- to five-week guys, and then we'll get into the three- to four-month guys. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so uh, our two guys who had the shorter times in the lab have returned. Silas Ardoin, he, he improved his base running, man. He His stealing aggressiveness went up five. His stealing ability actually went down five. And his base running went up five. So really glad that, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just wouldn't, um, it's not my style. My, my style of play, my preference of baseball would not be to invest much in the speed game. I'm going more, I'm going bats and gloves. The legs, man, we'll go station to station and until we hit the grand slam. But uh, you can see this was a cool scouting report. It does say you can view my full scouting report on the player page. Although this will report, will also include other changes. But and this is for both guys. I don't, I don't see any new. Oh wait, it is here. Hold on. Okay, so it is here, but there's nothing that shows you about the speed, right? So like, that's not in the scouting report. So scout. You know, you guys can correct me if I've been playing the game wrong or not wrong, but with <laughs> not not knowing this forever. But there's no other way to see. There's nowhere to see that he improved his speed, right? So I guess it would be cool if they like. Uh, is it overall ratings? No, see, yeah, okay. I don't know, but basically. Yeah, I don't um I don't know that there's a way to see that he improved his speed. So, anyways, there are some things that don't show up in the scouting report that you can do in the lab. Matt Corvath, it did not go well for him in the lab. He didn't lose. I was worried when I saw the word poor that he would have lost something, but he did not. I checked. He did he just had trouble learning first base. Which is interesting with a high work ethic, high intelligence guy, decent glove. And learning a position as simple as first base that he wasn't able to. But all his, his range, air, arm, double play all stayed the same. Um, I don't know. Uh, his morale is still good. Did it did it go down? Any, it's not bad anywhere. Yeah, so he's fine. I think morale can take a hit based off of lab. Maybe it did. I don't know where he was before. 
But so those are the first two guys through. So now what I need to do is pick two more guys to put in the lab and also check, you know, these guys. So it seems like Holiday, which is really surprising that his contact isn't going to improve. I mean, it's a really hard thing to do, but, you know, uh, Burns uh, looks like he's not going to increase velocity, but Mayo and Basayo, heck yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, the future of the Orioles right here. But uh, let's let's go ahead and jump ahead. I'll I'll figure out who I'm well, no, yeah, let's actually figure out who, who we're putting in. Max Wagner is a, a guy like that. Wow, he's already made a lot of strides here. Okay. Where do you go, Max? You don't have a lot to work on. Enrique Bradfield, do you have anything? Let's try to get your contact up. Oh, I don't have enough time. I mean, I don't really need him to work on his defense. Mm. All right, I'll figure out who I'm putting in, but we'll skip forward a bit. All right, actually, we'll, we'll, let's let's get some more guys in here. We'll do it live. I'm not going to do it behind the scenes. We'll do it live. So one question I have is I haven't even tried this yet. Can you put Heston Kerstad in even though he's injured? Oh, no, he's not. He's not eligible for anything, I guess, likely because he's injured. He's got a broken hand. Got it. That's a good uh, That's a good, good <laughs> catch to not allow that. This guy was a scouting discovery. He's got high intelligence. Let's get him into work on his... Well, I don't know if we have time for the bigger ones. Well, shoot. Yeah, we dedicated so much time to the other guys. His defense at shortstop? How's, how is his defense? Oh, you know what? On my earlier complaint about, like, no, it did it again. Um, so I want to see what's available to him and then look at his profile. Uh, I mean, sure. Let's work on his defense at shortstop and see if we... I don't know if that improves, like, the positional thing or, like, the range and stuff. Double playability, arm strength range. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go after that. It's it's a difficult one, but I think it's one that's worth it. Dylan Beavers. Oh, I'm a big Dylan Beavers guy, but he's somehow just already a monster. Uh, let's look at somebody on the major league roster. Bautista's hurt. We're not going to bother with Gunnar Adley. Colton Kowser. Oh, Colton Kowser has a lot of work to do, but... Not a lot of work to do. He has a lot of things he could still expand on, but... Unfortunately, I think, uh, like I think, I think I missed the window for him. You know, doing every those the, the fact that you can uh, the the time period makes it tough to improve too many guys on really important things. Not really important, they're really hard things like contact and all that power. Their their batting skills. But uh, you know, I think that's a good thing. I think I think it would if you expand it to like twenty dudes in the lab, you just come in like the whole team went to drive line for four months in the off season. Let's try to improve his left field defense. You know, not that he really needs it, but I don't know. Let's just do it for fun and see, see what happens. Uh, so those are both four to five weeks. Let's go forward just a few days here. Oh, I received a personal. Oh, I forgot. I turned do not disturb off. Oh, we got to turn that back on. We're, we're just here for the lab guys. We're just here for the lab. We're not here. Uh, we're not here to run this team. Uh, yeah, see, so I think it's the same thing. And, you know, you guys can explain this to me if I'm missing something. But the assessment just, I don't know why it takes five days. If, if once you have results, like it doesn't let you do anything. Again, I, I just don't totally, that's one one minor thing I, I don't really understand. Uh, so neither of them are really going to, doesn't look like either of them are going to, are on track to do too much. But Kobe Mayo and Samuel Basayo, I'm looking forward to what they're going to do. They've still got two to three months remaining. So, you know, I don't think that Arturo here is worth checking in on in four to five weeks. Well, whatever. Actually, we'll do it. You know, we're here to look at the lab. I'll do it. I, neither of them are going to improve. I wonder if struggling means that he could lose uh, some skill. I don't know. He, what is he right now? He's like 60s across the board. 60, 65, 55. All right. Let's uh let's see what happens if we skip ahead four to five weeks. See what happens with these two, and then we'll we'll see what these two studs do as they come out of the lab uh, in like two months. Okay, so the the two dudes, Kowser and the young shortstop, have finished their lab. One thing that was interesting is Kowser's progress at one point switched to on track, 
and then it went back to struggling. And Basayo has now gone to frustrated. So I think that's one thing that I didn't realize is their progress changes throughout, which is cool. Um, and I think is more reason why, actually, like more reason why maybe after the intake report is in, you should be able to remove them because like they can improve in their progress or they can um, decline in their progress. All right, anyways, let's go. Here's a bunch of really old messers I haven't checked all season. So poor. Complete his training, and as you're aware, he's been working staff. He plays it, but somehow managed to make it look even harder. After putting in the work, by the end of the training, he was looking back like his usual self. So I don't think he regressed, but it was not good. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And again, this is another thing where it's like, yeah, he's got a new scouting report for me, but the scouting reports don't normally show you like range and stuff. So that's like kind of, I wish, I don't know how you would do it. It would probably, I mean, it's probably a pretty massive overhaul, but I wish there was a way to see the ratings. And again, maybe I have like it on the wrong thing here. Like it doesn't change from when I do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You guys can let me know. Maybe there is a way to see everything that changed and I'm just sounding like a moron right now. That's entirely possible. I do that regularly. Um, all right. So Kowser had no improvement. Had his high level of def defense improvements, if any, tend to be minor and hard to come by. This was the case while development staff tried to help with small tweaks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. About the same. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of what I expected. I mean, Kowser was already really good defensively in left field. It's a decent defender. Wow. He had a rough... Uh, it was in Norfolk a lot. He had a rough, uh, rough 2024 season, man. Sorry, Colton. So, yeah, I mean, he was definitely a guy that I should have had in the lab for his bat. But, you know, you live and you learn here in the Will Bay's new development lab. So let's see what we have going on now. We have these dudes come back in five to six weeks. Whatever. I'm just going to let the computer pick those two. I think we've kind of – actually, you know what? I would like a pitcher. Let's put a pitcher in. Let's put in the forever underrated Kyle Bradish. Oh, he can do bunting drills or improve defense. Let's get his defensive pitcher up. That's what I'm after. Um, so let's we'll we'll take a look at all these at once. I'm I'm excited to see Kobe Mayo come out with his uh, improved eye, 55 out of 70 right now. Let's go. All right, let's see what's going on as we uh, f finish off our lab here. Okay, so all six of those dudes have finished their time in the lab. Connor Norby, it looks like that he did not uh, he did not find any improvement. It says basically that happens sometimes, and the only harm is that he didn't get anything out of his time and effort. So that's cool. So Connor Norby saw no boost. Did he get any time in Washington? Or in Washington? Good lord, in Baltimore? No, stuck in AAA again. Poor guy. Poor guy should be a major leaguer somewhere, but. Baltimore stacked. Uh, okay, Kyle Bradish saw no. Yeah, same same kind of note here. Didn't see any improvement in his pitcher defense. Let's get into the exciting stuff now. So a little disappointing that Jackson Holiday didn't improve his contact. Although again, like I I like it though because I would be like, oh, I put a high work ethic young player in somewhere where he has a lot of room to grow. Still, he's definitely gonna work. No, like I really like that it didn't work. Despite all the reps, he didn't seem to get anything out. Perhaps with more work, he could see an improvement. It's hard to say. Cool. All right. All right, man. Did he improve in anything? Current speed dropped. Potential gap rating dropped. Jackson. Uh-oh. Come on, man. Can't be doing that. You're the franchise. Okay, so Corbin Burns did not improve his velocity at all. And which is a concern. I signed him to a four year deal just to have him around for the lab. And he's he's already lost some stuff. He didn't gain velocity. He's starting to lose stamina. I mean his stamina is still fine, but uh uh oh. And Kobe Mayo, successful. Let's see. Kobe Mayo has given various exercises to help him see the ball out of the pitcher's hand and identify different pitchers pitches easier. With many repetitions, he seems to have gotten more comfortable at the plate. Look for him to come into the upcoming season with a more refined approach at the plate. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, his eye went up to a 65, and his potential went up to a 75. Wasn't a 55-70 before? What a monster. Get Kobe Mayo in your labs immediately, guys. Let's look at the scouting. 
So his I yeah, dude, yeah. His current I rating improved from fifty five to sixty five. His potential improved from seventy to seventy five. Man, I love Kobe Mayo. Let me just let me just get that out of the way. Now. And he's a captain with high work ethic in this game. Phew. Man, I don't know. The Orioles are stocked. The Orioles are fun. Now, his contact, yeah, we'd like to see that go up a little bit, but he's gonna mash. Kobe Mayo's gonna mash. He didn't get any time in Baltimore. He was in double A that whole year. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. How he got down in double A, what the Orioles were doing under uh, assistant GM Mike Elias. And then Basayo, that this is disappointing because he was showing some progress and then he he didn't did not uh did not end up generating any additional power. Although I think it grew. Let me see. Yeah, the current power rating went from 55 to 60. So I guess that was just like natural development. Oh, his potential went up from 75 to 80. I think that was already there. Current speed rating improved. Um, okay. I mean, Simon Basayo is going to be an absolute animal. Oh, they sent him back down to... Everybody was like back down a level in this year's version. He just went down and hit 46 home runs in 112 games in high A ball in 2024. What a monster. His catching has gotten better. I think that was lower to start the start the sim. Man, this guy's such a beast. It's times like these when I'm like, when you learn to love again. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong wrong thing. It's times like these that I'm like, man, I really want to play as the O's this year because Basayo, Mayo, Gunner, Jackson. Uh, I've been following these guys for so long. It's so nice to finally have the O's. Uh, the O's tanking and money saving, tanking uh, payoff for them on the baseball field. And John Angelo sold the team. So, but anyways, I'm getting off the I'm getting off on a tangent here. But um, yeah, my first impressions of the lab are it's awesome. I think that I think obviously it'll be something that will get tweaked and improved upon. But man, like as a, f I can't believe how awesome this is as like a first iteration. Like clearly, tons of thought was put into this. Uh, I remember seeing on the on the forums, Marcus had said something about that the beta testing had started way earlier this year, like in December, and it seems like maybe this was was a heavy uh, heavy focus of that, I, or maybe Will's just a genius and did this all by himself. But I don't know. I re I really 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 like uh, the player development lab, and I am I'm I'm just what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that. We've been waiting a long time for a feature like this, and, and this one doesn't disappoint. Sure, there are little things that I wish were a little different, but man, like as a starting point, this is amazing. I love it. Uh, it's only going to make me play, <laughs> want to play this game more. And uh, you know, as you guys are playing it, let me know in the comments like what you're doing at the lab, what I said that's wrong, what I missed. You know, I, I know I gave a couple minor critiques, but admitted that some of them could just be my own ignorance. Um, the one thing that I'm really struggling to understand is the point of the intake assessment if you can't take them out when you see the initial results of the intake. So other than that, though, man, just give me a search bar here. Search bar? Like, let me go to, like, prospects and, like, just, like, search. I know I can alphabetize them, position, et cetera, but, you know. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. Thanks for watching this uh, Player Development Lab video. I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video and other channel content, I'd ask that you please kindly check out check out my Patreon page in the description of this video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one.